Hello, I'm Zon, the daddy dev, and my daughter has totally messed up everything in this office. What is this even doing in here? Oh my gosh. Anyway, um, I just wanted to kind of do quickly do this video because um, there are some people that are working on visual novel uh, templates. Is that Would that be one way to say it? Let's see. Uh, zero go, I created the RPG dialogues. So basically, yeah, RPG dialogues. Um, and uh, it's interesting because this brought up from this post, and I'll permalink it, brought up people that were already working on this. And as we can look at, we're going to look at these two files, basically. And they both compare themselves to RenP. I hope I said RenP right. If you don't know what RenP is, let's give a good example of like a hit game. And that's basically the Dokdo Literature Cub. This is not a YouTube video, so I'm totally okay to use this. So basically, um, if you were living on the rock, living on the rock, living on a rock, uh, Dokdo Literature Club was this amazing just sleeper hit that just took everybody by storm. And it was really, I don't want to give it away, but it's a really cool game. It's also a meta game. And as I'm doing this also for the meta game jam, just something to know, a really cool meta game. If you don't know, you should check it out. Just YouTube it if you don't want to play it. The game is for free and it has over 2 million downloads, at least by like last month, and has actually made the creator some money because they had like a 995 uh, support the devs pack. Now, what's interesting about this was I thought this thing was Unity because it looked really good. Like I thought it was like some other type of uh, engine, but it turns out there are people that, that well, I mean, I, it's not the devs, but it seems that people seem to be pinning this one on uh, RenP, RenP, RenPy, whatever. And so we have this, this engine that is totally for free that you could use for a visual novel. And unlike Twine, this is a little bit more complicated, but you've got a lot more cooler features. Now, I'm not here to spout the gospel about RenP. Ren-P. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, but what I am interested is, is how uh, we have people who are working in Godot 3 to make this like a thing. Now, what we've been looking at nodes and stuff like that, it's interesting because they, they say they don't have like, it's not very complicated. So I'm wondering why it's not very complicated, meaning like why could they don't have like different types of interfaces, UIs, that sort of stuff. Because my understanding, as limited as my understanding is of Godot, is you could just like, you know, use nodes and stuff, right? I mean, couldn't you just move in? different nodes and scenes and add this stuff, which if you can, that means you could probably build a pretty good template off of this. But again, I'm not sure because I'm a terrible coder and I would totally help these guys out, but I'm not the best at coding. I mean, I'm just barely starting out myself right now, right? So anyway, so let's take a look. At least I can make a video and I can highlight their work. And let's see, I've already downloaded, the, downloaded into Godot, the Godot file at least. And let's see what these two things look like. Did I launch it twice? That's, oh my God, I launched it four times. You get a gamer mouse and you just click it to death and your computer's like processing this stuff. It's like, anyway, that's enough to say, uh, no, uh, I could, you know what? I'll do it this way too. Instead of importing it like this, I'll just go to the file. My Godot file. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. That's definitely not what I wanted to do. I'm not going to edit this for time. Ah, okay. Here we go. So. Uh, okay, all right, go to my Godot 3 file. Go to my Godot 3 file, click, click, and looking for it, looking for it, looking for it. Okay, let's look at the first one, Ren Master. <clears throat> okay, let's see what this looks like, and run it. I'm always interested why every project file is just named project.godot. I mean, we can't name it something else. I'm going to test that. Like, I don't know why everyone just does that. Okay, so let's look what's in here. I'm going to go 2D. All right, it's importing assets of awesomeness. I am excited. And so, yeah, again, um, I'm doing this because I'm like shopping around for different templates that I'm trying to use for the game. And I have no clue what I'm looking at. Let's see, we've got a Renkun. What's Renkun do? All right, let's see. Let's look at this, export string, character ID, function, character, add character. Okay, I'm, wow. Okay, okay, so this is what it does. So how do I use this thing? Oh no, how do I freaking use this thing? Do I do I type it in somewhere? What if else statements work? How wrench input? Well, let's see, let's run it. Let's see what the script, let's see if this at least runs. Okay, what do we have here? 
Uh, interesting. This is running, and I don't know how it's running, but... <gasps> Hello! What's your name? Um... Dude. Welcome. Oh, we can walk in on the debug and see how this is working, too. Welcome, dude, to Ren version 5.0. Okay. Extra statement to check. Play visual novel example. Yes. This I guess it's turning into a let's play. Why not? Okay, okay it doesn't. It's not formatted. Just format everything. Okay, sure. You make your first choice. Yeah. Okay. It's my first choice. Um. Back. Visual novel example is not. Visual novel example is not ready yet. I love this. This is freaking awesome. Okay, skip. You make your first choice. <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> I love this, dude. This is great. Nothing is ready. But you know what? We got the typing text and everything else is working. And look, the little dude. So that's what Renkun is. So we at least have an icon here. So this is this is some cool stuff to work with, right? We have an icon, so forth and so on. Now, now that we know what the text looks like, welcome, dude, in Ren Framework version 2.8. Let's look for, hi, I'm Ren. What is your name? Let's look for that in the code. If we can find that, dude, then we are awesome sauce here. Name, prefix, suffix. OK, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm looking for that in the code. If I can find just that. Let's see, can I do Control F? <gasps> there is a Control F. Um, <sighs> Shoot, my baby's waking up. I have got to be more quiet and less excited. What? Let's find what? What prefix? No, no, no. N name. Variables. Add character. Red values. Ease. Nope, not seeing it here. Name, name, name. What prefix? No, 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 no. I can't see it. Gosh dang it. Nope, not. It's not here. So what I'm looking for is just someone. Like I've done these before. Like in Construct 2 and stuff, I had to... Yes, here it is. Here it is. Okay, so it's in the, is it in the test? Fantastic. So here we go. This would be the character right here. And then this is actually how the person talks. This is all we need. Now we know exactly where to type in our story or like our story elements. This is fantastic. Okay, so this is Ren. Okay, and let's see who made this one, because I am I need to, and I'm going to permalink all this so you can, like, you know, look at who's doing what. And Ren was actually, Ren is actually the fancy one. This is the advanced one these guys are working on. Uh, Jeremy and uh, Deep. I'm just going to do that because I'm terrible at last names. So Jeremy and Deep are working on this one. And this is, where is it? And this is the one, this is the one right here. So this is the one I just got, which is just Ren. Okay. Ren master. Okay, so now here's the go. Let's look at the Godot version really quickly and see how this works. I want to go to my folders. I guys, I am truly excited. Um like I'm too excited that I can feel a headache coming on from happiness. Maybe I can need to lay off the cheesecake, but the cheesecake keeps me awake at night. Let's see. Mm, Godot. Okay, so this must be this one right here. Okay, so this one's the Godot one. Let's look at what this one looks like and see if it's different and how it works. Oh, oh my, oh my. Well, let's not let the pretty box fool us. So this one looks like it's a lot more fleshed out, but you know, in its complexity, doesn't mean, doesn't necessarily mean it's better. Uh, we're gonna look for some, no, pass, run. Okay, what's it, GD script? Okay, all right, texture react, no. VP box, button new, dialogue tips. I'm just seeing this dialogue tips. We have an audio stream, stream player. Uh, let me turn my audio up. I'm gonna get double feedback in my ear, which will be weird because I can hear my voice. But so it's loading something. File read. Okay, let's dialogue. Let's click on the dialogue. Uh, here we go. Error open file. No, 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 no. It doesn't look like there's anything here. I don't see anything looking like actual dialogue. So I'm going to assume it's probably loading it from another file. All right, let's see. Mm, I think dialogue. Nope. Oh, 
doesn't look like I don't see anything yet. Okay, so it might be adding it from another file, like an, uh, an XML file or something. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's just, just, just play with it. Keep it quick. Keep it simple. See what the sucker looks like. Oh my god, it's got noise. Oof, my head. Godot demo, press the button, right? I don't know. My god, it's got music, but it is loud as heck. Uh, whoa. Okay, so here, so here's the funny thing about this. Like, oops, here's the funny thing about this. Like, I'm not liking this. <laughs> I am not liking this at all. Um, you know, looking through it just for a second and going through all the the buttons and clicks and stuff, it just doesn't it doesn't seem as appealing to me. Plus, more than that, I don't understand this gosh darn. I don't understand this programming. Like, I no clue where I would start editing text and stuff like that. Now here's the funny thing is that this might be um I'm gonna quit this one, yeah. This might be the better one. I'm not sure. It's got it's from GitLab. Anything from GitLab must be better, right? Uh okay, make sure. Yes. Let's play what you can do. No, what does it see? Ah, uh, different pages until the text, back and forth the mouse, right? Colors. Tools such as Audacity, it's fine. I'm just looking for like like a website. Okay. Yeah, so Overall, I'm not liking this as much. I don't get it. This I'm getting. This makes a lot more sense. So I'm going to be sticking to this one. Plus, I can probably figure a way to put this dialogue system into my game. And that's not what Remplay can't really do. They can't really do a shooter, which is what I'm looking to make. But this this son of a gun can actually, um, this right here can actually do what I need it to do. So this is what I'm going with. I'm going with Ren. Thank you, Ren. Now let's check licenses because I always talk about checking your license. And because you, you need to know, not every oh MIT, I love you guys. I love you guys. Like I just this is awesome, um, totally awesome. So we'll see what happens when I when I use this and what I can make for it with the um, upcoming Meta Game Jam. All right, uh, thanks for listening, putting up maybe with with me just looking through files. Uh, I hope to check you guys out later or see what's going on insert catchy phrase here and if you're doing the metagame jam i can't wait to play your games all right bye